Hello there and welcome back to my computer and Fusion 360. This is most probably going to be a short video. I'm doing the D10, the 10 sided die. I've got the question how I would go around modeling this. And this is the end design. And I'm basing this off some pictures of my, my dice as in from one of my drawers. Uh, yeah, five sides here and then flipped over. So it's a 10 side total. And from a bit of different angle, it has this almost cube like. Where one of the edges and one of the flat sides is almost 90 degrees. It's not really 90 degrees, it's a bit more. So that's what I'm basing my dimensions on because this is not like a totally symmetric body like the platonics and solids, which I've done some other videos about. So this is a bit different, but let's go about it because it's quite nice and easy. And you might see how I think. Uh, the things I think about is, of course, five sides here versus the Pentagon, and the symmetry is that. This line is straight through, the middle point here is the middle, so let's do that. We are starting a new sketch. Gonna do it on here, and we just do a line. This is, of course, the center line. Make sure it gets horizontal. We're gonna constrain it midpoint to the center point, and we're gonna dimension it. The dice I'm playing here have to be 22 millimeters, so let's do it like that. And we need a second line to this is going to be one of the edges. We are going to make that point horizontal to our bottom point so we know where we are. Like that. Come on. Choose. Sometimes it's so annoying. Is it constrained? No, it's not. Thank you. And dimension. These two. This is angle, and I have found that 50 degrees gives me the most pleasing end result so but you can try one with different one too we are done with that we're going to construct an offset plane from this plane distance this is normally two objects so we can change the dimensions without needing to move the plane we're going to create a sketch on the new plane we just created we need uh, let's move in the middle we're going to do a polygon circumscribe polygon and it type you want just like this it needs five sides of course and now we're going to do a coincident between this point and out here and the sketch let's put my R fully constrained thank you so with that we're going to do a loft this here up to the point up here new body nothing strange and we're going to turn off the sketches by the way so now we've basically done half of it, and now we're going to do a circular pattern because mirror won't work. We would mirror it just straight over, which would be wrong because we need to do mirror and rotate. So we can do it at the same time. Make sure pattern types are bodies. The axis, we're going to look for axis. We do not want the axle that goes through one of the edges. We want the other one that's go through one of the flat sides of so that one. We do only need two. And with that, we're done all the bodies we need. We're gonna hit combine and choose both of these and make sure the operations is intersect. And with that, we have created a little dice. And just to check our dimensions, we are supposed to have 22 millimeters here. Yes. And we can also check uh, my dimension. I want to have is one of the edges here to that flat side is now uh, we can see the number 93 degrees is a bit more than 90 degrees but it's almost like a cube so it would roll quite nice i hopefully think and now we're going to choose the edges let's see if we can make this correct select select priority edges and let's see if it chooses all the edges yes it does we can do a fillet in all the corners let's do it one millimeter and we are quite close to dies. Now you need to do sketches and all the flat size to put the numbers or whatever symbols you want. And of course you can turn this into different material and render it and so forth. But this is just the thing I want to do, the basic shape. So now take care and have a good time.